education. Wait, STEM? You know, science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah, I've heard of that. Who hasn't heard of this or been a part of this important movement in the past several years? New STEM programs seem to pop up daily. And why is everyone rushing to focus on STEM education? I don't know. Why? Simple. 60% of the new jobs that open in the 21st century will require skills possessed by only 20% of the current workforce. The U.S. may be short as many as 3 million high-skill workers by 2018. Oh, yikes. And technology is at the forefront of the STEM education conversation. Wait, but why so much attention to the technology part? Because according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, by 2018, the bulk of STEM careers will be in computing. 71%. Wait, so you're saying that 71% of the need is going to be in technology and computing? That should definitely be our focus. Right. But unfortunately, even with all these STEM programs, the news still isn't good. Currently, nearly 28% of high school freshmen declare an interest in STEM-related fields, but 57% of these students will lose interest by the time they graduate from high school. So then, what's the solution? Simple. We have to sow the seeds of technology education at a younger age. We need to get kids interested and engaged in technology education before high school. Just like their other subjects in school, we need to start them with the basics and help them grow within technology as a subject as well. Let's do more than wait until they're in middle school and high school and dive right into coding. Right. Back to basics. We start with the fundamentals, teach the kids technology. Wait a minute. How many kids are we talking about here? Well, there's about 35 million students in elementary school in the U.S. in 2014. Um, we're going to need a really big classroom, don't you think? Yeah, we're not going to be able to fit them all into a classroom, which is why we're going to teach kids online. No, 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 no more e-learning, please. <laughs> no, no e-learnings. How about a video game? Go on. Meet Siri, Adele, and Sunny. Oh, and their dog, Charge. Oh, cute. Who are they? They're our new friends, but they need our help. But why? Because some mysterious bad guy has stolen their dog. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone has taken charge? <laughs> exactly. That's not cool. We should call someone. Slow down. It's all good. We're going to help them. We're going to hop online, log in, and help them rescue charge. Wait, this is the video game you were talking about. Yep. Cool. What else do we need to do? We're going to find clues, explore crazy places, play tons of mini games, defeat all kinds of bosses, collect jewels, pick up tons of achievement and badges, all to rescue charge. That sounds like tons of fun. I want to play. But wait, weren't we supposed to be teaching kids technology education fundamentals? We're doing that too. But where? When? By playing Take in Charge. What? Take in Charge is an online, browser-based, educational video game. But what about the other stuff you mentioned? The exploring, the mini-games, the bosses. That sounds like tons of fun. It doesn't sound like learning to me. It's both. <laughs> okay, no offense, no one's parents will believe that that much fun playing a video game can mean that you were learning. Oh, but it can. In order to rescue Charge, and while doing all those other fun things, players will be learning the basics of technology education. Well, like what? Mmm, how about internal computer hardware, operating system navigation, internet functionality, Boolean search logic, network functionality, home network setup, password protection techniques, internet safety, cyberbullying, and more. Whoa, wait, what? All of those are in the game too? Yep. And kids can earn 36 different digital badges that all align with the new technology skill sets they will acquire. So they can show those off to their parents, teachers, friends, whoever. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you were right. Parents and kids are gonna love this. But the game looks so cool and like so much fun. Are you sure it's really an educational game? Well, if you're still unsure, just check out Taken Charge's ISTE Seal of Alignment. The what now? ISTE, the International Society for Technology and Education. ISTE is the creator and governing body of the definitive education technology standards. The Taken Charge curriculum is based on those ISTE standards. Taken Charge has received the ISTE Seal of Alignment, which validates the Taken Charge curriculum and teaching effectiveness against the most recognized technology education standards available. Wow. And Taken Charge is the first and only video game in the world to ever receive the ISTE Seal of Alignment. Think that's educational enough for you? Say it again. <laughs> wow. Well, 
Where do I sign up? For more information about Taking Charge, just head on over to TakingChargeGame.com. Okay, but one more question. Go for it. Technology education is great and all, but what if kids don't want to work in technology? I mean, not everyone wants to become a programmer, a software engineer, a gamer, web designer. You're right. That's why Taking Charge is teaching the fundamentals, the things everyone needs to know to interact with technology at any level, and how to keep them safe. And technology is now a part of every job, not just those in the technology field. Can you think of a job anymore that doesn't interact with technology at some point? Good point. I'll think of something. Um, how about a, a musician? How do you think they edit and produce those songs? Writer? No, wait, never mind. Um, a teacher? No. Nurse? Wait, there's technology everywhere in medicine. <laughs> I'm totally stumped. Technology is everywhere. Everyone needs to know this stuff. Exactly. 